Hello, epic viewers from around the multiverse. Prepare to indulge in experiencing sheer bliss because today another riveting, caffeinating, stellar unboxing video is about to be brought to you for wishing. What item might be unboxing? What item might be opening? Without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to elicit the box. What items are published inside this bulky, hefty, tangible, nifty box? Let's find out. I'm going to demystify the answer to that inquiry right here, right now, so bear with me. It only takes me billions of picoseconds to extract the item from the box and subsequently flaunt it in front of the camera for you to feast your glorious eyes on. Here we go. The boxing process is about to commence. The boxing process is officially underway. What item is engulfed in bubble wrap? What item is obscured by the bubble wrap? Let's find out. I'm going to render the contents of the box transparent. I'm feeble. I'm dainty. I'm petty. I lack physical prowess. Achieving this feat is going to be arduous. Can I attain this goal of unboxing the item? Maybe. Who knows? Am I up to it? I don't even know. It's an enigma whether or not I can do it. Alrighty. This is heavy. These items are sizable. I'm only showcasing one for the video. I'm famished, I'm dehydrated, I need to take a break after I unbox one. The remnants of the package can be unboxed in an upcoming video, so check out my subsequent videos if that appeases you. The adhesive is keeping these items consolidated together. I need to sever the seal. It's keeping these items from being detached from one another. Where's my scissor? Where's my nifty pair of scissors? Where did they go? I'm scouring the room for them. I can't pinpoint them. I guess I utilize this knife instead. I just don't want to ravage any of my figurines. There we go. They're safeguarded in bubble wrap, so it's unlikely that they'll become decimated anytime soon. I clipped my nails prior to the advent of recording this video in order to preclude a scratching issue. I want to prevent scratches and scuffs from formulating, so I perform my due diligence and clip my nails in advance. I don't want to penetrate through the plastic. Alrighty, the first figurine is none other than the illustrious, revered, stoic, mighty, audacious Slifer the Sky Dragon. This is a Slifer the Sky Dragon deluxe model kit. It's derived from the Yu-Gi-Oh! deluxe model kit line. He's relatively tall. He's at least 13 inches. He coincides eminently well with a prodigious 6-inch action figure collection. Now, why do I say that? even though he's a deluxe model and taller than six or seven inches. Well, let me address an answer to that inquiry. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Sli Slifer the Sky Dragon is supposed to be sizable. He's not supposed to be scrawny. He's supposed to be relatively tall, so it makes sense that he's 13 inches. I would love to flaunt him next to a next to a prodigious six inch action figure collection. Just to show how mighty he is and how he towers over them. He's so dominating. He dominates the battlefield. He can scorch his adversaries alive. He could disintegrate them. Heartbeat, oh my god. I can't afford for these parts to get damaged. I relinquish too, too much money in order to procure these monokis. I depleted a 
too many finite monetary assets in order to avail myself of this opportunity. I can't afford for my items to, be, to become defective. I can't afford for them to wither away. Alright, so there cannot be any casualties. It seems as though the integrity of the joints has been compromised despite this Slifer the Sky Dragon being a motto, he has ample points of articulation. Everything has fallen off. I hope I can rectify this issue. Come on, please don't fall off. Hope is not going to remedy the situation. I love how spikes are protruding out of his body. I need to assemble him. Once I assemble him, then I'll flaunt him from the camera. For you to see. From a zoomed in perspective. I need to attach all of his appendages. I need to ensure that they don't fall off post being equipped. Come on, slide on. I hope that they're being placed into the correct pegs. I hope that he can be mounted to a stand. I procured this figurine with the intention of being able to flaunt him for the rest of my finite life. Hopefully I can retain this figurine forever. Alright, here he is. I need to mount him to a stand. I need to gain some semblance of stability. I wonder if all these pieces were assembled correctly. Probably not. I'll have to rectify my mistake and retrace my steps. Ow. I don't want any scabs to formulate. I need to be cautious amid assembling this figurine. His spikes are sharp. They could penetrate through my skin. I don't need my skin to become impaled by spikes. So I need to err on the side of caution, to say the least. I used to possess the Slifer, the Sky Dragon model. The model kit was roughly 5 inches tall. This one is roughly 13 inches tall. This one trumps the other one in nearly every facet. This is supposed to be a deluxe model kit. The peg is protruding out of the stomach. I don't know if you can see it too well. It's right there. I need to mount him to the base that's imperative. Alrighty, here we go. Please remain intact. I hope, I'll pray. I beseech Slifer the Sky Dragon to not become severed.
I implore you to not become dismembered. I earnestly beg you to not collapse. I'm begging a hunk of plastic to not fall apart. I don't want him to implode in any aspect. I want him to remain in mint and pristine condition. He's not marred with scuffs. He's not marred with scratches. He doesn't have any dings or dents. He doesn't have any major flaws or shortcomings. I would have preferred if the joints were a bit sturdier. He has articulation in the arms and in the legs. He can perform an ankle pivot, surprisingly. I don't really want to tamper too much with his joints. I'm not going to fiddle with them. I don't want to compromise the integrity of his joints any further. He's too expensive to replace. Nothing will displace this figurine. I have a hunch that he's about to collapse and become severed. The base is shoddy. His head is loose. He's more articulation than the standard average figure. I should say he's more articulation than the modern day figurine. He cannot clench his teeth together. He lacks articulation in his claws. He can maul his adversaries to a bloody pulp. He can scorch them alive. He can blow them to smithereens, he can smite them, he can bludgeon them, he can slaughter them with a whip of his tail. I need to equip his wings, that's pivotal. I want my figurines to be completed. Crap. I don't want to scratch the wings. I saw what I just did. I need to be meticulous. I need to do this gingerly. I can't do this in an impetuous manner. I can't do this half heartedly. If I'm not careful, I'll scratch the wings and impair the, the appearance of the model. It's arduous to keep these models in pristine condition, especially when their joints are loose. I need to re-equip the wing. His head is about to fall off. I'm in a dire predicament. It's a real shame and a real pity that this head is loose, but I can't afford one with a sturdy head. I don't think that he can be mounted to the stand without collapsing. I seem to have assembled them correctly, however his joints are just too loose. It's a real shame and a real pity. It's abysmal that he can't remain intact very long. Maybe I gotta be more optimistic. Maybe I should super glue the appendages together and pray that they remain intact. Everything's falling apart. Is this model cut shoddy? In one aspect it is. The joints are all loose. It's too bad that this model kit is not comprised of less pieces. Damn, he's coming apart. Everything is just falling apart. It's unbearable. It's unfamithable. It 
some people pay over a hundred dollars just to procure this particular figurine. Maybe if I don't tamper with him, he will remain intact. Yeah, Everything is just falling apart. It's arduous to keep him as one cohesive dragon. Let me just equip his tail and then I'll zoom him in for you. It's going to be zoomed into the camera manually. Here's Slifer the Sky Dragon. Is he defective? He has loosened joints, but he has all his body parts apparently. I don't think he's missing any body parts. Everything's coming apart, so maybe I could just super glue all the joints together and desist from ever tampering with them. It's too bad that the head is loose. Nothing I can do at this point. I just have to cope with the dire circumstances that have befallen upon me. I also have the wing I also have the wing dragon of raw and obelisk the tormentor. I need to unbox them though. So here he is, as one cohesive dragon. He may be on the cusp of falling apart, he may be on the precipice of falling apart, but at least as of right now he's one cohesive dragon. Here he is. One final time, let me flaunt him in front of the camera. He cannot flap his wings. He can't rotate his stomach too much. He could ascend and descend his arms. He can move them inwards and outwards. He can rotate his head. The arms can swivel. He can rotate his wrists. He can't really rotate his forearms without moving his biceps, so not a bad figurine, not an abysmal figurine, not the quintessential figurine either. Why do I say this? Well, his joints are not sturdy. That's my only gripe appertaining to this figurine. I'm glad that he's large. He's supposed to be sizable. He's supposed to be dominating. He's supposed to instill trepidation into the hearts of his adversaries. I also have a Yu-Gi-Oh action figure. I love this Slifer the Sky Dragon Deluxe Model Kit. I'll flaunt him next to Yami Yugi, the King of Games. Or Dark Yugi. Here he is one final time. Take a gander at him. I don't detect any major scuffs or scratches, so I'm glad that he's unscathed. I'm glad that his integrity has not been compromised yet. It's been partially compromised, but he can still stand on his own. It may not be for long, but at least he can... At least he can... Remain one cohesive piece for a, for a minuscule period of time. I was hoping that he wouldn't have a modicum of defects, but that's not the case. His joints are loose. He has some minor scuffs. And his stand seems to be relatively shoddy. So, this is a refined version of Slifer the Sky Dragon. It trumps a 5 inch. Slifer the Sky Dragon model kit, but this Slifer the Sky Dragon could have been amended, he could have been refined. He doesn't denote shoddy craftsmanship. He just should have had sturdier joints. I do love his paint applications, I love his textures, I love his shadings, I love his hues, I love his deco. I pretty much love everything about this figurine. I just would have preferred to 
have a more robust, sturdier figurine that has a cohesive dragon does not easily become severed. So those are all my sentiments appertaining to this figurine. Not an abysmal figurine by any means. He's not egregious. He's not appalling. He's not atrocious. But he's not the optimal figurine or the best figurine or the quintessential figurine. He's a quintessential version of Slifer the Sky Dragon, but that's not saying much. There's only three Slifer the Sky Dragon figures. Actually, there's four. One of them, I believe, is 8 inches. The other one is 2 inches. The other one is 13 inches. And the other one is 5. So their heights vary. This one is the best because he trumps all of their figurines in the facet of height and in the facet of articulation. But his joints aren't as sturdy, so there's a... major issue with him right there. It's a calamity that cannot easily be rectified by the consumer, only by the manufacturer. Here he is once again. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you deemed it to be intriguing and insightful. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.